Hello! So, for this video, I'm going camping again, but this time for two weeks, which is a very long time. Um, and no, I'm bringing 12 books this time. Um, some are the same, some are different. Um, <coughs> but yeah, so that's what this is. Um, so I am currently like vlogging this book, but I'm bringing Midnight Sun. I have, I started it the day it came out and I'm only on page 87, chapter 5. But if you don't know what this is, this is Stephanie Meyer's new book. It is uh, Twilight in Edward's point of view and Twilight is about vampires that's really all it, it's about so um yeah that's it I don't know if I'll be able to vlog it because it's awkward with my family I don't want to talk but yeah so that's the first book hopefully I'll finish that and then the next book I'm bringing is Uncommon Sense by Pauline Jaquish Jaquish I don't know I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce her last name but this is just a collection of short stories they're like funny short stories um she's a comedian i'm not exactly sure what they're about probably her life but um i bought this at a used bookstore because it sounded interesting and i'd like to read it so bringing that along as well the next book is american royals by katherine mcgee and um this follows the Descendants of George Washington, and, um, I guess it's just about, I don't know, it, there's not really much except, like, kind of, like, their scandals and how they're living. I'm not exactly positive what this is about. The power, the drama, the intrigue, the crown. This is the story of the American royals. I don't know. It sounded interesting, and um, I took it off, but I just got this the other day. Um, Barnes & Noble was having, probably still is having a um, buy one, get one, 50% off sale, so I bought this. Because I've been, it's, I've been looking at it, and I've just been waiting for it to come out in paperback, so. The next one is Dress Codes for Small Towns, which is by Courtney Stevens. I actually didn't read the back of this. <laughs> so this is about Billy McCaffrey, who her father is a priest, the town's preacher, and um, she starts falling in love with her best guy friend and her best girlfriend. Well, her best guy friend and her best girlfriend start falling in love with each other, and she doesn't really know what that means for her, I guess. That's what it seems like. So I thought this was, well, I mean, I knew it was gay, but I didn't know it was bisexual. So I've heard absolutely great things about this. So I will probably pick this up while I'm camping. I never read that much while I'm camping. I always bring way too many books. So the next book that I bought also at Barnes & Noble for their sale was The Poet X by, um, Elizabeth Acevedo, 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 um, this is about Ziomara, and she, um, lives in Harlem, and she goes to a high school, and they ask her to join the Slam Poetry Club, and she wants to do it, but she's worried about her grandmother being judgmental about it, and, um, this is also written in, um, verse so like poems and um this will be the second book that i read like through poems like i've read po poetry books but i've never read books written through poetry i really loved long way down by jason reynolds so i'm excited to read this as well so yes and then the next book is you had me at ola by Alexis Daria, which is about two, um, 
telenovela stars and I believe the woman is um, Jasmine Lynn Rodriguez. She has a new, so she's the new star of the new soap opera and her name is across the tabloids in New York and then Ashton was killed off of his last telenovela and he's he does he thinks his his career is dead and um he's trying to make it big in America and then I'm assuming like it's it seems like it's gonna be a hate to love which <laughs> I love hate to loves I'm excited for this and I I've never really watched telenovelas like it's not something that I've ever really been like interested in but um I loved <laughs> I loved Jane the Virgin and um that's like a remake of a telenovela so like it's an American remake of a telenovela so so and the next book I have is The Stranger by Albert Camus 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 I bought this at Barnes and Noble a couple of years ago and the bookseller told me how to say his name because I pronounced it wrong and I completely forgot how to say it and I'm sorry because it's not like it's not Albert Camus it's like Albert Camus Camus or something but I really have absolutely no idea what this is about and the back doesn't really give you much um, it was first published in 1946, and it basically says, Through the story of an ordinary man who unwittingly gets drawn into a senseless murder on a sun-drenched Algerian beach, Camus, Camus explored what he termed the nakedness of a man faced with the absurd. So, that's it. But it sounded interesting. It sounds interesting so and it's short and I change oh yeah it's even oh it's only a hundred and it's only 123 pages wow I could read this in a day um I changed my my Goodreads uh, challenge 120 books to 100 because I was like 17 books behind and I was like I can't do this so I changed it to 100 and now I'm only like three books behind so I'm trying to just like I still want to read 120 books like I'll change it if I hit 100 but I do want to I do want to read 120 because last year I only read 33 and I just started getting back into reading like I was never a huge reader but I think this year I've been just like non-stop but I'm currently watching Outlander season 5 and I'd like to read those at some point probably this year maybe early next year because they're large they're not tiny books and I'm behind as I said so next book is Lolita by Vladimir Nabo Nabokov Nab Nabok Nabokov, I don't know. <laughs> um, this is about <sighs> see this is the same thing as the stranger, like there's nothing on here. I'm not all I know is that this is about a guy who marries his like maid or something because he's obsessed with her daughter. So it's a classic and it even says it on the back, it's like extremely controversial, 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 which, um, I mean, it's about a pedophile, so, the, I also brought this last time I went camping with my, just my mom, and I didn't pick it up, so, what are you gonna do? The next one is The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. <laughs> Um, this is a memoir. I've never read a memoir, um, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But this is about her childhood. Her dad's like 
a drunk and like he talks i've seen parts of the movie so he like talks about building them a glass castle and he um they're pretty dysfunctional and uniquely vibrant so basically um talks about her dad mostly and how he was when he was sober and when he was drunk and how the kids had to kind of survive on their own so like take care of themselves um i'm pretty interested in reading that as well um i know i don't want to forget her name the <sighs> brie larson i don't know if that's her name i'm gonna have to check I think it's Brie Larson. She plays her in the movie. So, so next book is Words on a Bathroom Wall by Julia Walton. That's my name. Um, this is about. I don't actually don't know who it's about. Um, oh, it's on the inside. Adam is pretty regular teen. He's just navigating high school while living with paranoid schizophrenia. His, halluc his hallucinations include a cast of characters that range from good, beautiful Rebecca to the bad, angry mob boss to, ju to the just plain weird, polite naked guy. Luckily, an experimental drug promises to help hide his illness from the world. He'll still, th he'll still see things that he shouldn't be, be seeing, but at least he'll know that he shouldn't be seeing them. Then Adam meets Maya. A fiercely intelligent girl who makes him desperately want to be the normal great guy she thinks he is but as a miracle drugs drug begins to fail how long can he keep his secret from the girl of his dreams i picked this up a while back and then the trailer just came out and i was like oh yeah i have that book and someone left a comment and was like if his love interest is just one of his schizophrenic, like, what would you call them? One of his hallucinations. I don't know why I couldn't. I was like, oh my god. Did that girl just figure out the movie, the, the twist? So I'm hoping that's not how it ends. But... Considering I always do that, it probably will be. I'm sorry if that's how it ends. I won't spoil it because I, I don't know. But um, considering my luck, that's how it will end. So the next book is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. And this follows Jack and Pepper. Jack, um, his family owns a restaurant. So does Pepper's family. And Jack is saying that Pepper's family stole his grandmother's grilled cheese recipe and they both are like control their twitters and they get into a twitter war and then um they in real life know each other as well and they are falling for each other on a app an anonymous app that jack created so i've heard really good things about this as well and I'm really, I'm excited to read this too. I think the cover is super cute. So, I'm excited. Last book is A Short History of the Girl Next Door. This has also been on my shelves for a while. Um, this year, I was like, I'm not going to buy books. I'm just not going to do it. I need to read the books on my shelves. And then 2020 happened and the world just kind of went to shit. And that's all that I've been doing is buying books. So I don't mean to, well actually I do mean to, but I'm just like, I'm reading them. And I guess that makes up for it, but it's still, I'm trying to like cut down on all the books that I have so yeah oh, so this sounds depressing I do love this hardcover that like so cute y'all cannot see that <laughs> um 
but this is about Matt, and he's in love with Tabby, and he is on the JV basketball team that no one seems to care about, and Tabby falls in love with a senior basketball player who is a great guy, and he gets into an accident, and I guess everything kind of falls apart for him. He's put on the sidelines of the basketball team, and... I'm not exactly sure what happens, but it sounds depressing, so who knows, you know? Um, so that's it. That's what I'm bringing camping again. Um, I would love to do a June and July wrap-up because I haven't done that. I haven't done, like, reviews, which I'm terrible at, but, um... I still like doing them, so, yeah. <laughs> that was my hand. Um, I also put my bookshelf up, and I painted, so that's together. I also got fake plants. I went to Ikea with my sister, and they were, like, $5 for three in, like, a little package, and I got two of them, and I also got this she was i think she was like four dollars or three dollars i don't know but i got her then i got another one but i got that one he's my favorite it's just he was a dollar 99 <laughs> i spent like 15 dollars on fake plants because i can't keep them alive so um better fake you know so yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I hope you're all staying safe and having wonderful days reading and hanging out with your cats or dogs. Um, my dog is currently sleeping like a cutie pie. So yeah, I hope, ooh, I shouldn't have done that. I hope you're having good days and you're staying safe if you're working and all that jazz, and yeah, remember to be safe and to be respectful towards our essential workers. Goodbye.